Yeah, sorry about that everyone. I had to grab my external hard drive and back the image of my operating system up onto that instead of putting it on that small partition because that partition was very small and it could not write the um, whole um, image onto it. So yeah, I backed it up onto my external hard drive and this is what it looks like. But it's gonna look completely different once you reopen um, Macrium Reflex and and retrieve what you downloaded with it. But next, you're gonna to want to grab a CD, a blank CD, and create a a rescue bootable disk. So, you know, just in case, you know, if you your whole system is corrupted and you can't get back to the program right here or get into Windows, period, then you can use the bootable CD to reconstruct. Um, your windows to the way it was so you know if you don't have the CDs that came with your computer or you know if you didn't have if you didn't buy your CDs you know and you just bought a new computer with nothing on it you know I mean with no CDs then you're going to want to create a backup rescue disk and the way to do that is you're going to click this and and have have it on the Linux one it doesn't matter on this um, BART PE just have the Linux one, go to next, and you're going to hit updates, get your latest updates. There's none available, so okay. And you're going to put a CD inside the CD tray. I did this with a, I tried to do it with a DVD, it didn't work. So you're gonna need a CD, and you put the CD in and you hit finish, and it's going to install it. And then from there, you're going to have the backup bootable disk. And with the bootable disk, you're allowed to, um, <clears throat> you know, get your partition wherever wherever you had made the image to, with that bootable CD without getting into Windows here, and re restoring Windows back onto your hard drive the way it was. So that's what it's good for, and I probably will record me using the backup bootable disk right here, the rescue disk. So just, you know let me get a cd i'll have to get a cd i don't have any with me right now so look out for another video on this so yeah i was just making this video to show you guys that will show you all how you can create a backup image of your system right here you know if you want to reinstall vista or your operating system you can do that and then you can reinstall this program and retrieve your your um your whole operating system the way it was using this program so you don't have to use the um, bootable cd that you create here and the way you can get your stuff back is two ways there's the um check image backup for error oh, you don't have to do that but um i was looking at the wrong thing but you're going to come here you hit that go to next and now i'm going to find the image that i had backed up and that is inside my partition i mean not my partition it's inside of my um external hard drive here so i'm going to find it let me look for my windows backup where is it here we go right here and there it is it just loaded my my um partition that i'm going to um restore my um operating system to but i'm not going to do that because i don't need to so yeah, you can do this if you want. You know, it's always good to create a backup of your operating system. You know, because you never know what's going to happen. Your system might get corrupted. You might catch a virus. You might get bad data, and you know, and it's just and it can just be complete utter and utter you know mess for you. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, I can. You know, you can leave a comment, ask me something, or send me a personal message. So, yeah. Uh, and please check out my other videos. I talk about other tutorials and other things. And please subscribe. This has been your, and this has been your guy, Devin the Geek. See you guys later. I am out. And peace.